everyone. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you, or we're gonna work on Navasana. Okay, so what is that very important pose? Because it helps build and strengthen the core strength and it keeps our lower back safe. So, first, you, I want you to bend your knees, planting your feet on the floor, making like a small triangle with your legs. Grab your knees and lift your chest. So make sure your spine is straight, or as straight as possible. Send your shoulders up, back and down. So making sure your shoulder, shoulder blades are back. Suck your belly in and engage your core. And from here you can stay here. So this is the first part. This is the first. Look at the space between the legs and my torso. Because sometimes people try to do it with too much space. And see how I go back. This is harder, and this is maybe some people hurt on their coccyx. So try to close the space a little bit, engage this, engage the hip flexors, and pull. Squeeze the knees together. So the first step is just hover the feet from the floor, lift, reach your hands, and lift your chest. You can stay here and breathe here. This is fine. You can do this for the first one and building it up a little bit. For the second one, you might want to lift one foot and then switch sides or come bring the other one to join and do this. Because as you know, we do five times five reps each on the Ashtanga practice. So you can start here, one, breathing, deep breaths, two, three, four, over, over, and five, and call your knees. Okay, next step. So, you want to bring your feet, your shins parallel to the floor or the ceiling. That's only when this is easier, you'll become more comfortable with this. Then you move on to this. But always remember to challenge yourself. Don't stay on the easy pose. So, okay, so five breaths here. One. Lift the chest, squeeze, two, lift the knees, three, squeezing the legs together, point the toes, four, deep breaths, and five, hug the knees. Okay, so then when you feel more comfortable and you feel like this is getting a little easier, you will always feel something here burning which is fine that's what we want again if you feel like you're going too far back then come back up and maybe go back into the easier version all right so when this part comes easier then we want to go to the full pose which is extending the legs lifting and pointing you're looking at the t at the toes so five breaths here one squeeze the legs together two Lift the chest. Three. Look at the space between the torso and the legs. You don't want this. Four. Lift, lift, lift. Push down through the sit bones. And five. So cross the feet and hug the knees. Okay. So then we're going to work on lifting and pushing between postures. So if you're doing this version, that's perfectly fine if you're combining it. That's also good. You can do one or two here, then one or two here, and then the last one do it with the legs extended. Okay, so between each one, we're gonna pull and swing back. You can grab blocks if you have them at home, or you can maybe some books, whatever works. I don't have any blocks, and I like to challenge because I'm working on my jumping back. So squeeze the knees as much as possible. Squeeze the feet, push, and come forward, and rock back. That's what you want to start building up to. Other option is just squeeze and lift. Other option is bring your feet to the floor and just lift your hips. So what you're going to be doing is one, Breathing, extending and lifting. Two. Remember to smile. Three. 
four and five. So version one, feet on the floor, you just lift the hips. Version two, you squeeze and try to lift everything. And version three, you eventually swing back and forth. Squeeze, rock, and down. All right. That will break a sweat for sure. Do that at least five times and every practice to build the strength. It will help you a lot tremendously on your practice to very different or various postures on the Ashtanga practice. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you keep practicing. Thank you. See you soon.